So one thing I, you know, I think that is uh, part of my calling, right? Not even my calling, but what I need to continuously say is because um, I was listening to Robert Dawkins. He said that the brain they can not hypnotize, but they can really start implanting ways of thinking, overtaking in your consciousness and start making you think in this most logic way. There's, there's nothing I can do now. Uh, they, they, so you heard what, what I just said? They just they made me say something that makes no sense. There is no way I can do about that. Right? This is what I was trying to say. They kind of play with my speech. And you just gotta accept that your brain is gonna think in this in logical, nonsensical ways to make you accept this thing. In the last video, I was talking about how they're making me like having this battle with this person who's like in the mid twenties, and they're like, you see, you you could look at it, uh, this person in as a someone who's good looking. I'm like, she's like twenty seven years old, of course, of course I can. And they're like, oh, but so so what we're doing to you. When you get this peripheral type of torture, it will force you to experience these things to our children. It's just us matching. And then give me the stimulation they make me have and say, now you used to feel like that when you were a kid. We match it to, to you when you were a kid. Now it's not even, no longer when you're a kid. They, they've been implanting these ways of thinking in, in my adulthood. In my memories of my adulthood. But... What they've been doing since August 19, 2019 is to be conditioning me to experience this thing every day. And so I don't remember myself not having this sensation and stimulation because that's how they do. The things, they erase your memories, implant new versions of memories and implant the stimulations. So you cannot even remember how you would feel naturally without them implanting that stimulation. There's no way. They make me think of this little girl, give me this disgusting sexual stimulation, and that's nasty. But that's what they do. But did you hear the logic they've used in my brain? This is a brain of mine that's been, my brain that's been forced to think in this way. At least the brain I'm res responding to. And every time they try to put them, every time they try to break that perception, they change subjects. Oh, abuse. Remember what you did as a kid. Right? Because they're trying to make it seem like, no, you see what you, what happened there is because what you did as a kid. Now, first of all, remember what they do to children. Forget it. Just remember two seconds how disturbing these people are to children, right? Just remember what kind of things they do to kids. Matter of fact, if you forgot, I have no problem listening to it after this. I have no problem bringing up the do the display type of torture. It's done systematically. They force you to experience Perceptions that are pedophilia centric, stimulations that are pedophilia centric, dreams that are pedophilia centric, conditioning that's pedophilia centric. To train your brain to think in this ways. And then they're like, oh, black girl, remember? No, that's how you think about black girl. Remember when you were a kid? No. That's what you're making me experience today. And you're making me experience that in my memories. And you've been training my brain to think like that. That's what it's almost a thousand video of what you guys do. And then they do what they're supposed to be doing as perps is to start going into the repetitions. Repetitions which are scripts that they do to disorient you, to confuse you into accepting these manipulations. I have no problem repeating these things a million times before I get And then, once you put things in perspective, guess what? Oh, he's going to rape you. He's going to stretch you. He's going to do this and this. I'm sorry for the language. That's the things I'm listening to. To disorient you and focus on and think about what the whole thing you're going to experience and forget about how you're putting things in perspective. Using different tonality. And I'm like, I'd rather die in hell than go on And every time they make me think like that, they're like, you're going to ride in hell for that. Or you're going to ride in hell. It's like, I'd rather ride in hell. Then having to do what this trash do, including in, involving a program that tortures children sexually. They, they, that, that, what they're part of is hell to me. They are actually in hell. Because there's no paradise or any place where there's honorable, dignified, or anywhere where there's self-respect, where they do what they do. There is nothing fierce. They, they are the biggest cowards. And they like to say, oh, we're scared. It's like, oh, coming from the biggest cowards. You understand? They, 
you understand that their job is to manipulate and, con and condition a brain to accept this manipulation. They are just the perps. They are the bottom feeders in these things. And the entities that actually contract them are filled with pedophiles. This is the heaven. To block our reality while doing these nasty things to people, including children, I'd rather right in hell. I would rather cup, give my a little bit. Listen, I'm not the bravest person. I do not want to be screaming in pain. But there is, there is honor and dignity in this. Then it's gonna end. If that's what is gonna happen, then it's gonna end at one point. We're all gonna end us. We're all gonna die. So there's an end to that. This trash are involved in these things that are so foul and disgusting to work day in and day out to break somebody's brain into acceptance this false persona which consists of pedophilia and not to end there of course it's not that bad well it's, it's not uh, the, the worst here these people actually torture children these same people doing this to me are in the program that is run by these government entities to experiment on human beings which includes children and some of the experimentation consists of sexual torturing these children to see the responses of these children or the responses of the target individuals who have children to break them down all they do to counter this is to go through the scripts so you're gonna scream and you're gonna do that and that trying to disorient me from the fact that I just said what I just said and are renowned for this pedophilia type of torture who that even hurts children that torment a lot of women and guess what just to add all the cherries on top of the cherry guess what issues this intelligence community have for children there is a pattern of pedophilia in these agencies actually in charge. Not the people in my neighbors or whatever. They try to make it seem this is about all this like uh, strong femme fatale uh, wannabe. No. Actually people in charge. Actually where the money, the, 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 the resource and the technology derives from these entities, pedophiles. All three, while, while these people are trying to be like, no, we matched it, we matched it, we matched it to this and that. Like, no, you just restructure, rewire my brain to experience this nastiness. It's disgusting. And then they, try to, they make me experience this. And then it's like, oh, you feel familiar with something. No. It, makes, it feels familiar now because you've been doing to me, doing this to me since August 19, 2019. But why then you will try to make me think that it was me when I was a kid. You understand? They do these nasty things. I will never be myself again. They have trained my brain to think like that and conditioned my brain like that. Initially, it was like we matched it to you when you were a kid, making me think, okay, when you were a kid, you could think like that. I was like, may I remember? And now it's like, they might put it in my memories and now like it's conditioning throughout my whole life, me experiencing this. And now that's my, that's the way I'm, I'm forced to experience game and stimulation, even thinking about a child, little girl, little, little girl, and then like somehow forced me to get stimulation. Ugh, it's disgusting. But that's why I've been trained to think that. That is slow life. That turn your brain, that change your brain into something else. That changes you into something that you're not. And like, and then try to disorient you by saying we match. These people renowned for the perfect type of torture. These brave people. Speaking with the door cracked open and say, No, it won't be strong. But to all my target individuals, if you ever have doubts, please, please listen to this. Okay. So they'll say, We're the Russian government, we're the Chinese government, we're evil aliens, we're Satan's, you know, satanic ritual abuse. Um, we're, and I've heard all the stories. One guy believed it was uh, some 14-year-old kid with an Xbox that lived next door. The trickery really is that great when you're under hypnosis that people will believe something other than a massive government um, could do this. Um, and so, anyway, what, you know, our inter my interview with Len, smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of poor boys to school. 
This involves the projection of voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexually perverted, involving many combinations of sensory and motor manipulation of my mind and body at the same time. These sexual assaults are present throughout the day, every day, and any time I am awakened at night, every night. They range from mild to extreme, but usually involve daily and nightly continuous assaults for the past three years now. When severe, the zaps to the genitals feel as though someone is electrocuting my genitals repeatedly. I also often see highly disturbing pornographic images and videos, including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images and videos. It's more stealthy, like they turn it down a notch, they turn it down a lot to uh, make it appear as though the thoughts in my head are actually mine, which I know they aren't most of the time, because yeah, these people are very perverse. As I was um, going through this, they were trying to have this dialogue, it's like, oh, you see, and uh, listen, they were trying to counter that. Now, I've never conditioned my brain to experience these things all the time. It's, I'll never be seeing things the same way. Never. I'll never be myself again. I've understood that. My brain is not going to be the brain I, I had before August 19, 2019. It'll be whatever they want it to be. I've accepted the, the reality I'm in. But one thing is for sure, I'm not going to let them escape into the another reality these people want to live as they do what they're supposed to do. Now, remember, while I'm there, try to make me subscribe to these pedophilia things that they do to almost every other target individuals as, as, as we're subjects to these experimentations, the people actually in charge of these programs listen to what's going on in their agencies. This and then move on to the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, but sexual crimes involving children, says BuzzFeed, including the viewing, the viewing of images of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. In a November 2009 report, the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found that two officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees America's spy satellites, acknowledged viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that is more pervasive in the general population than I originally Realize, I mean, what's going on here? This is Look, so I mean, dark, so evil. Ali, we are told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the intel community, you know, you're put through polygraphs, you're put through a rigorous selection process. Why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top-level security clearance? Remember, these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying, hey, can I get hired? Can I get a job? 
you're going through an extremely rigorous background check screening screening process it's called an SSBI single scope background investigation. There are people they interview you, they interview your family, they interview your contacts, okay, they go through your online footprint, they go through everything. So why is it that when they're going through these footprints, they're not checking these digital footprints, they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind those computer screens within the walls of Langley, within the Pentagon, and throughout the broader intelligence community? So, you obviously see this is these entities, and I didn't even play all of it. So you hear the CIA agent doing these things to kids. It's just another level. But now, those other entities really in charge. It's not whoever is in the apartment, whatever next to me. I understand. These people are just a purpose. They're just the people implementing these tactics to their target individuals who are just human subjects in this experimentation where they try to improve this technology. And their job is to break them down with this torment and the torment is very pedophile centric and they want you to accept this as if it's you now sometimes they try to bring up well most of every time they're like oh black girl is you man they try to make me think remember the stupid thing whatever you did as a kid i was like what now listen to these people the hopefulness of what they do to children that is the that's if i ever going to be aggressive in my life toward them is when i think about the horrible stuff they do to children. That is the t when I get really aggressive, or when I feel like I want to be aggressive, when I feel like like aggression is only when I think about the the things they do to ch children. Even when they, what they do to women, but it's not as bad. But what they do to children, the, the torments they apply onto children, because this is a human experimentation. It needs they need subjects of all sorts, including babies. And even if the, the babies and the kids that might not even be the, the, the main target, because it's going to be breaking the parents who is a target individual or whoever who is a target individual around the children, they could do horrible things to the kid to cause torments to the adults who is the target individual. They do horrible things. Horrible. Listen to the things they do.
Even though I had stated that it was time to do more work right before this incident, I quickly just let him play another game, and he quickly returned to his joyful, happy self again. In other sessions, he has also grabbed his crotch and said, ow, while looking up at me. I live in El Dorado Hills, California, with my wife of 14 years, Lorna, and our five children. Nicole is 15, Patricia 14, Christopher 13, Dylan 9, and Avery 16 months old. Not only have I been going through this, but my entire family has suffered right by my side. We have all experienced the same type of harassment on different levels. We have all suffered the same symptoms while this harassment was going on. Some of our physical symptoms include severe tooth decay and vision loss. I mean, this goes on. I don't want to continue to bring that up. Well, I will continue to bring that up, but you understand that this is the people talking to me. And it's funny, it's like, oh, you make yourself angry when I think it's like, yes, I, I get angry. Because you try to find ways to make me accept these nasty things that you forced me to experience, then try to say, oh, no, but I remember what you did as a kid. Then I'm really like, do you know that I know what you guys do to kids? Babies. This is, they, they try to distance themselves like, oh, this is some fantasy thing. No, they are doing the same thing. They, these people do this to kids. The people doing this to me, that's what they're involved in. What well, they try to come up with a little fantasy, as you heard earlier, about, you know, how they this and that, when in reality, they're just working for these entities that are developing this technology. And they come up with a little, this false flagging to come up with a, a, a false reality so I can see them as something but what they really are. To all my target individual, I would die. I would suffer. Like they said, I would get feasted. This is something they say. Instead of doing what they do to cover up what they're part of and what they've done to people, including children. This is low-life pedophiles. They call themselves evil because, you know, the earlier you hear about the bunch of pedophilia issues going on in these agencies, I was like, oh, we're so evil, huh? It's like, you know, you're just cowards, low life trash, who work for pedophiles, and will be reimbursed properly. There's honor and dignity in that death. However, I'm gonna die. But I understand that the second I'm no longer here, for this bottom fears, this coward low life, they're gonna have to wait for that time. And matter of fact, I know I'm not there first. A lot of them I'm not there first. One of them are like, I'm already cursed. I was like, oh, you've done these things to people already, huh? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Continue to live this cursed life. Because I would have died this way.